my name is Ike and this is another Magic the Gathering Arena video. I have a special one for you today. Uh, this one was uh, kind of one in the making. Me and Mr. Easy Mode, a fantastic YouTube content creator for Magic the Gathering Arena, uh, decided to get together and to play some games and record them and show the world what it's like to actually have some good times in the game of Magic. Uh, we play some janky decks, some competitive decks. It's a it's a bunch of fun. Uh, his this his all his information will be down here in the description below. Check him out. He is fantastic. He has a unique talent of being able to play Magic well, but also explain what he's doing uh, very well, and that that's very rare. Yeah. So with all that being said. Enjoy the games. If you like all of this good stuff and you want to see more uh, type of collaboration content like this, let me know. I'm happy to deliver that to you. All right, friends. Enjoy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Keep it. This game's over for you, my friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is it? I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Actually, I just realized that I do not have the the, 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 the actual deck uh, list that I wanted to play with this. It's okay. Uh-oh. It's okay. I hope you're not playing a deck that likes cards in their hands. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and get rid of that. Oh, yeah, that's actually not bad. Okay. <laughs> Dump start value. Okay. Oh, great. Yeah, this is uh, not the deck that I wanted to play, but this is also a, a, I would say that Bant Control is somewhat janky. Because <laughs> why on earth would you play it when you can play Esper? But, exactly. Um, I don't do that. Ooh, hello, Priest of Forgotten Gods. I, I love that card, man. Oh, yeah. I, I think that's my fa favorite card from the uh, uh, Ravnica set so far. Uh, I mean, For I sure. So much. It's oh, just a God. shame that its power level is so inconsistent between creature decks and non-creature decks, because it's definitely not where you want to be against uh, against creatureless decks. I think it would be perfect if it was a haste creature. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Allowing like the upside tap. is the upside is obviously so high that. Uh, what do I do here? I don't know. You tell me. You should probably I just don't pass want your turn without doing anything. Yeah, I don't want to jam into like a random. Uh, what's it called? Your old counter spell on a three-two. But I also just don't want to get like cleansing Nova and explode. But at least if you cleansing Nova, that you tap out. But also just have a board of random crap. So I don't know. Teferi here would crush my soul. Are you playing Teferi in that deck? Spoiler alert. It's very. No, I'm actually not. I'm not playing it at all. Sick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I only oh, believed you a little bit. <laughs> Only a little bit. Uh, that's, that's pretty I'm just gonna tick up. I'm not gonna remove your Priest of Forgotten Gods, so don't worry. Well, exciting. Go ahead uh, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, tack everybody on onto it. You know, let's have a party. No, 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 Priest of Forgotten Gods. Right? You forgot about that one. I don't think I did. <laughs> I think I'm good. Okay. You got six mana now. What you gonna do? Oh, hello. Probably walk into a negate or a syncopate for one. Syncopate. Yeah. Probably attacking with the Lanor Elves was not where I wanted to be right there. Keep up the pace. You know, just a quick, quick three for one on myself. <laughs> what are your oh boy. On this? Uh, I was about to say, like, Krasis is probably coming out. Yep. Oops. It's your boy. Your boy. Well, I'm not going to lie. This is actually not a terrible spot. Yeah, 
I, I like that Golgari Queen can kind of just toes a Krasis for free. Right, as close to free as possible. Like the Golgari Queen better than the Lord Seeker. Personal opinion. Like, most of the Gargari things that I run, I I just really like the way she's. I like the part of her gym. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she's got some stuff going on that I like. I don't like that she's generally useless in too many matchups because. Like her plus pretty much demands that you don't be playing Krasis in your deck because you don't mm -hmm. want to sacrifice lands in your Krasis deck and her minus is like too narrow and it's hard to build her back up after she enters and minuses against aggressive deck so all in all she definitely has some uh some real ish going on over there why do you have seven mana and why are you discarding to hand size i don't like no anything idea. that's happening what you, here what are you what are you talking about i don't i don't know what you're talking yeah. about I don't know why my opponent's discarding to hand size, but I don't like it. What you talking about, man? You can kill my Teferi now. Isn't that nice? Oh yeah. That's a that is something that's gonna happen with absolutely no negative ramifications. Absolutely. Okay, that one is actually pretty sick. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you get some credit for that one. Dude, I love this card. I have no idea why anyone like I don't see any decks that play this card. It's so yeah. Good. I feel like you're on another syncopate, so I'm probably just screwed here unless I can find a land off this elf that I maybe shouldn't have attacked with again. That's a little that's a tilt, but oh well. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, nothing nothing quite says being in a tough spot, like <laughs> your opponent drawing cards with the Teferi and you burglar ratting them. I'm not done. <laughs> Good point. I don't think I don't think I could engineer a a worse situation for burglar rat, but oh, it's another craw. Well, here goes my queen. All good. She'll be missed. She'll be missed. Basically, I don't know if you figure this out. This is a flash on the band. Oh yeah. I'm flash on band. I'm on to you. Your ways. Oh, hello. Um can't do nothing about that. I can say with absolute zero confidence that this will be the last we see of Teferi. Because you're only halfway through your deck and you probably I have got him. <laughs> Yeah. Major look. Really should have seen that. Hmm. All right. Um. A lot of plays that can be made here. Nice Interesting thing about syncopate versus Llanowar elves is you threaten to pay for it with an untapped Llanowar elves, and then they can't syncopate you, and then you just get to like attack with your thing that's actually a creature. Yeah, right. That you don't need it to produce mana, so it's just like the threat of activation thing again. Oh. Passed with mana up, I see. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I have nothing in my hand that I can play in this turn. Nothing at all. Yeah, just another. Oh, your auto tapper left up Frilled Mystic mana after casting Frilled Mystic. Oh, I wonder what that means a, for the future of my. That's <laughs> crazy how, um, how the auto tapper has gotten better with this last patch, though. You know? Yeah, I know, right? It's like, one hey, down for the uh, auto tapper. Although, I will say that it's. I appreciate the fact that uh, when you go to. When your opponent, like, casts a chemistry's insight and it just, like, taps all their blue sources, you're like, huh, they're probably not sitting on any counter spells in their hand, so. Well, I know exactly what my opponent who plays counter spells can deal with a slow five mana sorcery threat. Go! Slow five mana sorcery. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> Turns out. Hey, that's not fair. You've drawn half your deck. That is I'm true. sitting here trying to... <laughs> hey, how about I, I'll just mill myself here. Um, I know I'm not counting for another Krasis. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, yeah, right. Nine, oh, opponents touching their mana and they play Krasis in their deck. <laughs> Grandma, I'm probably dead here. Yeah. And by... Finally. When I said I'm playing my most competitive deck, what I meant was... In terms of as jank as you can get, okay. It's awful, but it's okay. Okay, now I can hey, finally resolve down, my... Yeah, it's like, now I can do my thing. 
stray. The power of the generous stray. Oh, I can discard a card? Sure. Yeah, spell pierce. Don't worry. Uh, maximum, maximum good plays over here. You got the, you got me. Looks like I'm super, super dead. Oh, you can do what you want. I hate being holding out hope. I drew it on this crisis, and I just want to show you what else is it. Yeah, this is for uh, science. <clears throat> oh, you just floated all your mana oh, and then I lost did. it. <laughs> uh, Wilderness hey, reclamation that, players that's in a, a nutshell. That, that's exactly <laughs> what I meant to do. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, jokes on you. Nah. You're like you're you're gonna like what I got next. So you're tapping all your mana in your first main phase. I'm like. <laughs> Is this an instruction instructionary lesson dude. in how I had a march, Magic the Gathering and I had triggers? A march coming and down, dude. I had a march coming down. If you wanna. Oh, march. Okay. Yeah, I, march. I can respect that. Okay, here's my completely untested, really bad deck. That's really bad and untested. All right. At least, um, the, at least the at least the the burglar rat deck. I put in a couple of reps in best of one before. All right. This is another janky deck. Janky another. <laughs> <laughs> well, another? That, one technically, that, that technically wasn't a jank deck that, that again I wanted to pick another deck and I did pick that one by accident so oh um, you oh you, you, did you mention you picked that on accident because I didn't hear that yeah so I wanted to play my immortal dawn bant deck which is very good uh, for jank but not so great and I accidentally picked the bant control but it's mm. okay because that was a fun deck in itself yeah. I'm gonna keep this. I don't have any idea. Okay, so I think I'm happy that I kept this. Oh boy. I'm very happy that I kept it. I don't like the look of Godless Shrine. Pretty scary. Oh, you're really not gonna like this one. Catacomb that's gonna come down this turn anymore. Yeah. Probably not. Oh, Compass? Okay, I can deal with Compass. That's probably a fun deck at least. <laughs> this is a little janky. So this is like a, uh, yes, I know what you're playing. I know what you're playing, so I see it. I see it how it is. I knew it. Don't worry, my graveyard recursion threat will come back. Yeah. Eventually. Not when he's exiled, though. Maybe this turn. I don't like it. I'll pass. Two Pretty exciting. To face, two to the face. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that all we have? Nothing else? We're not going to do anything else. Oh my goodness. What are you doing to me? This is horrible. Revitalize. Should probably be banned. Just saying. Probably too good of a card. Um... I don't think there's much I can do here. This is exciting. Don't you dare. Oh, Lord. Yes. Can't have that anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Four mana deal two. That's a pretty good deal. I actually have to draw and cast this now. Oh, you do? Uh, unfortunately. Hadouken! Nice. Wait, I cast four burn spell. <laughs> I like hit you once with two creatures and then cast a burn spell. Or two. Or four. Right, I'm gonna what play do you know? Again. <laughs> I'm going to play my yeah. drink deck again. <laughs> you want to run it course. back against aggro? <laughs> sure. If, okay. I can, uh, if I can draw um, more revitalizes. Yeah, revitalize. Why don't why don't my burn spells draw me cards like your heal spells? Come on. Yeah, I don't think Blizzards yeah. of the Coast is properly balancing their game. Now, do you have a light up the, light up the stage in that deck? Because uh, hmm. that card does a lot of things that it shouldn't. <laughs> one mana divinations are kind of cool. I can appreciate a one a good old one mana div every once in a now. Although, vicious okay. conquistador. That's that's a Jeez, card. This card is like I actually think that's a really good. Oh my goodness, dude! What are you? What's going on, man? I don't know. 
That is ridiculous. That's a lot of damage. This is four to the face on turn two? Yeah. This is another card that I think is really cool. You might not like it. Um, no, I'm not a fan. Yeah. The old two for one that also shocks your opponent. Which is kind of like a three for one for an aggro deck. Since each shock is about a card. <laughs> or each two damage is worth a shock. No cry the Carnarium. Oh my goodness. Another four damage to the face. This is ridiculous. I don't know. How about another another run back on the old <laughs> flow of the arteries? What are you doing to me, man? Just another three for one. You know, slight downside. It doesn't shock your opponent. Oh, God, this is that deck? Oh, yes. I actually feel bad because I think this it's... deck's sweet. Yeah, I, I got it. <laughs> This is basically my entire play. Well, hey, that's probably better than what I'm about to do. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, I kind of like munch on that. Munch on that neck. I'm a big fan of this. You do have light up the stage and that darn. All right, well, I know what you're playing next turn. Oh, yeah? Sanguine Sacrament for two? Oh, God. Mastermind's Acquisition for Sanguine Sacrament, maybe? That'd be spoop. No, I don't have that card in this one. So this oh, okay. one is actually a competitive, more competitive version. So if I was going purely jank, I would have like all of those ridiculous janky cards in my hand or in my deck. Uh, wow. Well. <laughs> you knew what I was playing next turn, huh? This might not even get. This might not even get into the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on. I think the Magic the Gathering player base at large needs to be informed that nut draws from aggro beat janky <laughs> combo decks. <laughs> they all, yeah, you know, that, this, this was education. Education yeah. at its finest. All right, dude, I'm I've got another on. aggro deck, but it's like, it's creature focused, so all of your random sweeper effects in your combo deck will actually probably do something instead of just like, you know, classic well, four mana wrath against the two one you, drops. I've that have switched it up a bit. Ooh, lucky for me, I'm on, the I'm on the play as the creature deck. I'm just over right. here cheating while you're trying to play some honest magic. No, this this deck right here is not honest. It also doesn't okay. work. <laughs> Sounds pretty honest. It just does not work. Oh, hello. Good old two mana, three two man. It's actually a really good card. Let's see what you're playing with here. Nope, bye. Yeah. I don't know what that card does. <laughs> I know what it does. It, it wins games. That's what it does. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you know about uh, my troll boy? Oh. Dead. Basically, no downside then. No downside to just any other three mana four four. That's correct. You should. I was about to say you should probably stop putting Cry the Carnarium in your deck. It's cheating. <laughs> Ooh, I love Gorgory, dude. I wish it was a little bit more competitive. I have a really cool Gorgory uh, list that we could play. That we play against you. Yeah, I'd like that. Just let me go make a four of Cry the Carnarium deck real quick. Then, uh, then I'll challenge you. <laughs> yep, Got to make sure it's fair. That. I actually want both of these. I think. Yep. That's I'm a good there. sign. I want both of those. Can't wait for my Strauman to get lava coiled or something crazy. Oh no, I'm not gonna lava coil it. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm still probably not gonna be a fan. Yikes. That's a pretty good answer. Well, the thesis mm. of my deck was play creatures against opponents who don't play a lot of removal. Thesis, fail. I'm gonna do this anyway. Oh, that's pretty dope. I can respect that. Dick. Okay. My goal is to not let you do anything else. We'll see how that goes. I think it I think you've got you're pretty favored. I think you're pretty favored. Um let's gamble. That's exciting. Huh. Yeah. Well, that did something. Um, it did nothing. 
Hmm. Bummer. Bummer. Ooh. Yeah. One creature off. Yeah. If only you had an exile three of them. Cursive graveyard threat does not feel very safe right now. Nope. Nope. I don't want to do that. Let's do this. <clears throat> Let's do that. Okay. Wah. Much better play. Yeah, I feel like that's probably this game. Because I top deck a land, so. Okay. Yeah, good old, good old lands. Well, I'll play this then. That is a demon, right? Oh yeah. That is a demon. Nightmare. Well, Just... you have 12 damage on me. Oh. Ooh. I guess this is a card that I don't immediately use the game if I play. Not immediately, that's correct. Ooh. That's pretty good. That's a good card. Oh, Thief of Sanity. Well, that is a blocker for a potential top of the Yari Raiders, so yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a problem. It's not a good blocker against Swamp, though, so. Oh, dude. Yeah, Thief of Sanity can't block Swamp, so. Oh, I have a spawn, that's... too. So I have a spawn of Mayhem in this deck as well. So. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, there's that. Well, you fool. Activated my gutter bones. <laughs> I activated my trap card. Yeah, you took damage with your doom whisper. Sloppy play. Yeah, horribly sloppy. I just, I don't want to finish the game because what I really want to do is I've never actually ever had this combo and, and do anything. But what else? Yeah. Good old Liliana's contract. So there's your, uh, there's your OTK demons. Meh. Yeah. Combo came together pretty good. Let's see here. What were you going to play? You're going to play a Golgari deck, huh? Um, yeah, I have a Golgari deck that I highly enjoy. Good. Do you like it so much that the thought of losing with it ruins you? Hopefully not, because that'd be a little exaggerated, but I've got something for that. Got a little something for you. What you got? I don't know. <laughs> Actually, it's pro it might not even be that good of a matchup, but I at least have a, f a fun funsies. You played Bant Flash, and now I did. I did. My turn to play some Flash. Ooh, you can play Cynic Flash. I know you it's made a video on flash. it because I watch your channel. Subscribe. It is the Manly Flash. Oh, nice. Um. Yeah, you should subscribe to me. Yeah, subscribe <coughs> to both. Oh, dude, this is no, just to me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> to both, of oh, course. Sweet. All right, it's not horrible. We're good. We're good. <laughs> awesome. Older Hulk and Plague Crafter. That's pretty good. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not what you see. That's not what's in that deck. You're incorrect. Well, I'm a pretty big fan of Growth Spiral. It's like my favorite card in the whole set by a country mile. Uh, no, like, I think I'm going to decline that. I think I'm good. Yeah, actually this random two mana cantrip is my favorite card in the whole set. That's pretty weird. But it's pretty awesome. You really like Growth Spiral, eh? So it's a magic card. What can I say? We'll attack first. Do some work. Yeah, attacking first is definitely the play there. <laughs> Nothing like turning on your opponent's blockers by letting them flash in their mystic on your spell pre combat. Yeah. Right, right. This is pretty spooky, I guess. Let's 
So how long have you been making videos? I haven't gone and looked at your history, so I have no idea. Uh, the start of December of last year, and I started playing Magic that September, so I felt the need to play videos pretty quick, or felt the need to make videos. Is that much fun it was? Oh, harpoons! Oh, that's a pretty fun card. It is. Man. I like when a, I like when a card has just like a vanilla keyword, but it's still really good. Yeah. By the way, this is a best of one, so you're not allowed to play Nexus of Fate. I'm not sure if this is the direction you're going currently. Oh, no. It wouldn't have even let me queued up, because Nexus of Fate's a pretty garbage magic card. That should just be banned in all formats, really. Although, I am still a bad person. I still play counter spells. Bums, man. Bums, man. That Motor Hulk was going to get me a card back. Oh well. Jeez. Would you calm down with the gift of paradise? I like gaining life and ramping, so I'm just not gonna calm down. Although, let's see, how many creatures do you have in there? Six? And get um, the Molder Hulk back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, at least you can't do anything with it yet. That's correct. Can't do anything. <clears throat> Fire off some of this stuff. Yeah, that's a card. That's a magic card. Oh, come on. That card is cheap. Well, that cheat. That's a cheat. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, the ridiculous. nice thing is, is it's ridiculous, but I don't do anything crazy unfair with it. It's just a nice way to like have a lot of random mana floating around. No, no, no. It like makes after perfect I, sense. Uh, purely on a... Um, Simic level because Simic, if you're playing Flash Simic, which I'm pretty sure you're playing Flash, you uh, you can be playing all these things on that instep. So yeah, it's cool. I like tapping out for the biggest crisis in the world and then like still being able to interact with my opponent. I don't like this, but I'm sure you saw it coming after how many cards I've drawn. Oh, like win to the game. Nine. Got it. Okay. Nice. Yeah, this is like you'll go. The Golgari decks are so sweet when they do all the graveyard infinite recursion stuff. But it's like if your opponent plays removal or a card that just is bigger than Molder Hulk, Mud uh -huh. then it's pretty, it's pretty tough. But I do like Molder Hulk. I think that's just like a card that should just randomly be in more decks. Because sure. I think it's like not. Amazing, but it could probably it could probably find a way to get into a deck it, more than it is now. No counter spell, no whammies. Yeah, uh, sorry. It's like, uh, yeah, that's a pretty that's Womp incarnate right there. Unfortunately, like oh okay, I'm just dead in two turns, and my opponent's got infinite mana. I will not block. Oh, and this thing just has trample too. If you did oh, an yeah, excuse yeah. to run this card, yeah. By the way, the, uh, the whole what is that card called? It's, 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 it's the most powerful card in the uh, guilds of uh, not guilds of Ragnarok, Ravnica Legions. Yeah, definitely. Like even just in a vacuum, it's really good. And just in this current format, it's obviously nuts as well. It's a little weird that Sultai, like Sultai, still putting up good numbers, like. <clears throat> If you look at MGG top eight, it's still winning some GPs and doing really good in other tournaments. But I think the 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 initial take was like you can't play Settle the Wreckage anymore because Settle the Wreckage just ramps your opponent's crisis. It was a little overstated. It's still a really good card, but right. Is there a Ritual of Soot in that deck? Probably not. Ritual of Soot? No, not in this one. Like, Krasis actually has some pretty nutty answers. Like, I've lost a lot of games to Angrath. <laughs> like, I've lost a lot of games to Angrath. Because Angrath minus on the Krasis hit you for 10 and then it just dies. Like, yeah, okay, you, you drew five cards and gained five life, but you also might have just died. Which is. By the way, I have a uh, 
lot less giant in my hand. Really? But I can't. Yeah, I just can't cast it. That sucks. Cause yep. that, that's such that's another one of those like really sweet cards, but it's just impossible to make work because it's seven yeah, mana. Man. It's seven. Yep, that's what it is. It's like I I see where they were going with it because it's six and a black, so it's at oh, least like right. really castable. But and a really also, castable yeah. bad card is still just a really bad card. So. Yep, unfortunately, it, it's such a cool. Like I love that deck. I just wish it was more playable. It's I've got like just not. I've got another creature deck for you. It's Orzov tokens. I'll just tell you what it is. Don't pick Cry the Carnarium now that you know that. <laughs> All right, I won't. Oh. Okay. Um, let's do. What is? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. No, no, that has Cry and Carnarium in it. Um... <laughs> you have invalidated seventy-five percent of Ike's decks. <laughs> you basically have. Uh, like oh here's one it runs golden demise instead right, right, I actually wouldn't even hate that too much alright this is this is a good one but oh I I will I don't think it has cry carnarium in it but I'm gonna let you know it does have removal in it okay that's fine I just dropped I think the end. come on Ike. nice I'm winning the it's like hey I'm gonna play this aggressive deck you win the dice roll so I'm gonna play this random reactive deck you go, for, you go second. Like, okay, I can live with all these things. It's all fine. Uh, okay, well, I don't feel bad anymore for playing a somewhat controlly deck. Yeah. Ooh. Es Esperanzo, huh? Mm -hmm. Good old Esper. Mm-hmm. Well. Spot what removal is not going to be your friend against this deck. <laughs> Ooh, it's one of these. Yeah. It's like if you like if you literally cast Golden Demise this turn, I could still untap and flip Legion's Landing, which is pretty nuts. Like <laughs> flipped Legion's Landing is actually a pretty good card. Ooh, the Craves. Mm -hmm. Should have did that before I attacked, bro. It's all good. I have a feeling. I was like, bro, what are you doing? I think I have a feeling as to what's about to happen next. So I, I don't know. think I don't know what you're talking about. If you only knew that I didn't have the man to play it. Oh, yay. And you destroy the card. So I don't have to worry. Yep. Um, so I don't have the correct man to play the card that you're probably thinking about. So I'm just going to. Does it rhyme with Raya's Wrath? Uh, Raya's Cath. Yeah, Raya's Cath. Yeah, that is exactly... That's it, dude. This feels so gross. I don't like it at all. Yeah, it's probably because it's pretty gross. But I have but. to. I gotta save face. I gotta draw into this uh, mana that I need here. Because I know I'm not ready. Cry the Carnarium. Oh my goodness. Hey, maybe yeah. I can make you kill yourself uh, with uh, Midnight Reaper. Oh, I actually had that the other day. My opponent was at 12 and they had two Midnight Reapers. This is Soulti midrange versus like Rakdos midrange. I was like, wait a second. Finality literally just wins me the game here for a quick 12 damage burst. My opponent right. could have lived. My opponent could have actually lived. Holy shit. That was a little trigger. Um, if they had Siege Gang, if they hit Siege Gang, if they siege gain commander, my if they they use their siege gain commander activated ability on the uh, on one of their midnight reapers in response, they could have taken a lot less damage. But they didn't, so they lost. Which was I don't know. They still probably weren't in too good of shape, but <laughs> this is gonna be fun. It's Raya's wrath. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> uh, this is ridiculous. It is. Ooh, that's a, that's a different one. I like I like the direction you're going here. It's a lot of fun. You have the good old fashioned triple Kai's Wrath Nut draw. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I mean, I don't, but I'm going to create it. Oh, nice. Very nice of the. Vision Briefing is a pretty sick magic card. I can 
appreciate that a thousand percent. You do get nugged for eight though, if you didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Or six, sorry, because it's another my, creature you control. Yeah, my goal here though is to stabilize. I know that you're gonna be able to pump out some one ones here, but I got I got uh I got you know I still have a little bit of removal, so I, I'm still here hanging out. Yo, it's the final push. No. Oh. Life gain. No, you have not made it. Oh, come on. You don't need that. You're good as you were. That's a really cool you know, con concept right there. I like that. Yeah, just this awful card that if it gets negated 18 for one zero or some shit. <laughs> like, I was like, if I get negated here, I probably just lose. So, that's pretty cool. Or contempt. Okay. Um, oh. There's a card in my deck that I really, really, really want to draw that I haven't been able to. Um, we'll see how this goes. Oh, I probably should have, like, made a token in response to that since now I can't do that anymore. That was pretty loose. Yeah. Oh, um, well. So good. I could Make sure you name Adanto. Yeah, Adanto the first four. Luckily, the writing's on the card. Well, now I have a planes. <laughs> planes is a pretty good. Third contempt. No, nope, not third. You actually get a uh, get something. I get my re get my rebate. Yeah, awesome. See, that's exactly what I wanted you to have. Man, where's that card? I need it. Damn, removal dot deck coming in hot. I can appreciate that. Now this doesn't have Carnarium in it, so there's that. Yeah. Ah, oh, come Good on! Thing Good thing I've got I'm this, uh... I'm for it. Good thing I've got this planes. I mean, Adanto the first fort. It's pretty, pretty sick. I really need... Not that card. But I'm glad that I have this in my hand. Well, now I've got two zero ones, so your clock has been shortened by eggs. <laughs> uh, I've given you the pleasure of looking at Seb McKinnon's amazing art. That's what I've done. Well, I mean, at least you're top decking gas every turn. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, yeah, I could be top decking uh, lands, but yeah, it could be worse. You're right. I'm actually doing this now. I'm too impatient. Dang it. You gotta land. That's kinda cool. Hmm, hello. It's you. It is you. I'm just like hitting the space bar. I'm <laughs> waiting for your deck to either do its thing or not hey, do dude, its all thing. All you had to do was complain that I wasn't hitting lands, and now I'm hitting lands. Sweet. Oh no! I know. I wonder if, uh, hmm. yeah, I was about to say, it's going to, you can only win, right? Yep. And it still gets, uh, <sighs> oh, are you last. kidding me? What are you looking <laughs> for? Is it, a, <laughs> is it spicy? You. It's so spicy. You're going to hate it. I have a feeling it's like Zatalpa. <laughs> Zatalpa. Uh, no, it, oh my gosh, dude. What's, what's going on, man? <laughs> it's these zero ones. They're just clocking the hell out of you right now. They're hitting my face, and I don't like it. Crunch, oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, I feel crunch. so bad. Uh, <laughs> this is so bad. Hey, there's all your lands. I knew your deck had them in them. You were correct. I have to just waste this. Yeah, you kind of do. Yep. <laughs> it does shorten the clock by like a non-zero amount. Finally. Just yes. <laughs> there it is. Oh, hey. 
20, I'm halfway through the deck and I have four copies of this card in my deck and I have not seen them yet. One, two, and then you do three damage. Yep, that was pretty crazy. Well, <laughs> I turned zero one sideways and got there. <laughs> That's pretty much what the deck's intended to do. So my strategy worked. Yeah, dude, you uh, did exactly what you needed. Uh, the card that I was looking for was a Masterminds, and I, in my sideboard of that best of one deck, it is the, um, I don't remember the name of the card, it is a white-black, and it's super cray-cray. I'm going to tell you the name. You're not going to tell me the name? Oh, I'm going to tell you, I just got to remember the name. Ethereal Absolution. Oh, yeah, that's another good shutdown against one toughness stuff. But that's I something I can find the masterminds. Okay, so you want to so go one more and, and end it on a on a on your favorite deck that you can think of? Yeah, I don't really have a favorite deck, but I do have a deck that's pretty fun, and Is those are hard to come by. Janky jank. Um, it probably fits that description pretty well, I'd say. Um, yeah. probably. Good. Maybe. I like where this is going because I have one as well. Although I do need to tune just like a couple of numbers. I'm not trying to like absolutely maximize it, but. Do what you need. Editing works at this time. Oh, for sure. I'm going with uh, I've, 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 I've entered into the the mode. I've selected the deck that I hope okay. to do something with. We will see. Yeah, let's go ahead and make this a thing. Okay. Uh, well, as long as you're not playing a deck that has counter spells, creatures, hand hate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. This this Basically, as long as, as long as your deck doesn't have uh, Fortify in it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it does not. It, it does not have Fortify in it. Forest Elves. Well, that's a start. <laughs> that's a, Those are some cards that do things. Oh, a Hadana's Climb, maybe? I am going to be so sad when Jade Light Ranger rotates out. Oh, it's the Ascendancy deck. <laughs> yes. Found your Ascendancy? Found it already, baby. Let's go. It's cheating. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, well, I can only cantrip my way through my deck so much before I literally just can't hit land drops anymore. That's that's disappointing. Cantrips, please get me there. <laughs> gonna complain don't worry uh, oh growth spiral uh, for you as well yes, yes. let's do it oh that's spooky oh, shit. <laughs> this is don't. the stupidest deck are you gonna drop an arcane adaptation naming ooze no. that'd be a really i think i do have that in this deck <laughs> I think I have all the things that make this too way too janky. All right, well, let's put an end to this. Womp, womp. I had to fun police you a little bit there. Things were getting a little out of hand. Too much fun was detected. Too or much fun have detected. You seen my shark crab? Oh man, we're in RNA limited right now. <laughs> That's what uh, I like to see. This card, dude. This card can win, man. I've won a bunch with this one before. Oh my goodness. Are you playing like a uh, OTK Gates deck? No, not really. It's just like, this is one of like my first 
kind of real imitation or imitation attempt at doing a gates deck and it failed horribly and then i started mm. seeing like the cards that people were putting in their deck and i was like wow these people were not putting bad cards in their deck and they started with, hmm, i could probably take some notes on that right like hydroid crisis i was like i don't know if gates wants hydroid crisis necessarily it's like wow let's say something dumber if you can not much of a dumb thing um infinite life seems pretty good oh my goodness gracious get a soft reset on what's going on here although shark to crab has a, a pretty cool adapt he does have a pretty cool adapt but the good news is is that you don't need his adapt to actually work oh you're trying to make that what is it biogenic upgrade or something oh, like that oh yes <laughs> that was like the exact word that i was oh well it looks like i'm just like super duper dead here that's pretty cool does your simic ascendancy get like 20 counters now uh, it's 14. pretty close well looks like you just win with eight eights. i'm gonna call the deck a failure on your behalf <laughs> Um, well, I guess I'll just like show you what was going to happen eventually, oh but my yeah. Goodness gracious. You know, by the way, that animation is on point, bro. On point. It sure is. Well, Simic Ascendancy. I almost, almost that's 14, man. That's pretty decent. Yeah. Archway Angel, pretty good against those red decks that don't have, that are just trying to play off of Reach, but not too good against decks that are playing 8 eights, so. Rest in peace, Archway Angel. Awesome, dude. Appreciate you playing, man. You rock. Everybody, go check out uh, Mr. Easy Mode's channel. Descriptions will be in the link. Uh, will be linked in the description. Excuse me, the link. <laughs> oh, dyslexic time. Yeah. Let's go, baby. All yeah. right. And go check out Ike because he makes good videos and is a cool dude, if you can tell from this. And he also picks his Teferi deck into my crappy priest of the forgotten gods deck like oops this oh, is the jankiest deck i've got oh I forgot I was playing a tier two deck oh man wow well, oh, yeah good, dude. here i am playing tier <laughs> tier 99 <laughs> and he accidentally picks to fairy oh Whoops. man that's so good all right dude yeah thank you for the fun matches and uh, too, i'll see you later man let's do it again